we know of in Zombies to this point has been its own perfect little loop. Well, easy to follow, not necessarily. Convoluted, yes, but overall, the canon storyline is a fairly perfect loop. The events from World at War lead into Black Ops 1, which leads into Black Ops 2, which leads into 3. But for the past eight years, this loop that has been constructed by two visions of the narratives from two different directors may actually have a way out. A hidden theme within Zombies is that we must break the cycle, breaking the loop to free our characters. The most prominent of such is Mob of the Dead, and that is where the cycle continues unless we break it and Weasel effectively kills the others. Another notable one is Brock and Gary's loop on Shangri-La in which they are seemingly stuck forever in a time loop over and over and over again. While there are smaller cycles that can be broken, one such theory is that we must break the loop of the larger story, that the narrative as a whole is a loop and it must be broken. But the first step in doing so is figuring out just how to do that. One thing that is absolutely crucial and must be considered is the canon. The storyline has up until this point had very little wavering points, which from a narration side is huge and makes it relatively easy to tell a story with a definitive starting and end point. But that said, Zombies hasn't always had a clear cut and dry ending to the individual Easter eggs per map. Black Ops 2 featured a narrative that, at the time, consisted of a power struggle between Maxis and Richtofen, thus spawning different sides to easter eggs, and the most notable of those being the buried easter egg ending, where on one side you could pick Maxis, who in the end overthrows Richtofen to take control of the Aether and condemns Richtofen's soul to the physical host of a zombie, and the story then continues to where we see it in Black Ops 3. Samantha reaches out to Dimension 63, the Origins universe containing Primus, and the events that follow happen as such. The other side of the coin, though, is that we can see Richtofen's side prevailing, in which case Richtofen will announce himself victorious and wipe the existence of Max's clean from the universe. He also takes over Stolinger's body and remains in his head. But this ending, however, is not canon. This, from a narrative point, never happens, or it's that alternate ending people would always be curious about seeing if it were a movie, then somewhat be dissatisfied after having seen it. But this ending is also the key. Let me explain. In Black Ops 3, we ended up getting the timeline that is canon, the true narrative, and that narrative follows a certain path to make sure we incorporate Monty, the Shadow Man, the Apothecans, the Keepers, the Multiverse, all that jazz. While we're introduced to him, we know that Monty is a very important presence and he makes it well known that the characters have been living in a cycle and in a loop and everything exists at the same time. He even flaunts it by saying that he will and already has made another moon in an audio quote. But when we get to the basics of Monty, he's using our characters for his own reasoning. Whether his intent is for good or for evil, that's rather irrelevant to this theory, but that topic in and of itself is a rather good one to discuss, because it is possible that we may purposefully have been deceived by Treyarch into thinking that Monty is the good guy and the Shadow Man is the bad guy. I detailed that a bit ago, but I digress. A quote that is integral to this explanation is that Monty, when we're first introduced to him in Grodd Crovey, says that the universe is fractured and broken, and that we're gonna fix it. Now we will eventually do this, but also in his image. Sure, we create a paradox that allows Primus the comfort of knowing that they're not disposable, but even that paradox is accounted for in the canon storyline that we are given. It's something written there in stone, and something that doesn't really create this off-brand that a lot of people really think of. We follow all of Monty's plans and effectively restart the loop by, air quote, fixing the cycle. So in doing so, we start the loop again in which the events from World at War to Barry take place in the original dimension, including what we know of with Ultimus and Victus. So once we get to Victus, we, by virtue of the storyline, ultimately help Maxis in achieving his goals, and thus, as a result of the buried ending, Samantha reaches out to Dimension 63 for their help, which then queues up everything with Primus using the summoning key to collect the souls, get the children into the house, beat the Shadow Man, be set in a paradox that restarts the loop, and over and over and over and over again until the end of time in the zombie storyline. However, this loop is again contingent on Samantha reaching out to Primus with the start of Origins. It needs that connection to become reality. And a decent description I heard of such events is like a computer program's functions. The data is there afterwards, that data being the events to follow with Dimension 63 for this case, but if it's not called upon, they have no influence on the main program or storyline in this case once again, since they will not connect. So the way that we unhinge the link is by choosing the Richtofen side of the Buried Easter Egg. That is the opposite of what we do in Buried in the canon storyline, and that 
points is the catalyst for when Samantha reaches out to Dimension 63 and brings Primus and the rest of the storyline into that connection. So by severing that connection, by simply not allowing Samantha to reach out, it unhinges that link that we've built. So if Rick Toffin's ending ends up being chosen, the cycle is broken and an Easter egg inside of an Easter egg showcases this perfectly. Because once you complete the Rick Toffin side, the round that you end up being in is not the round that you left off and buried. The round is instead round infinity. We live in the future in which time can no longer progress as per the timeline that we know, so the future and unwritten one at that is displayed simply as round infinity. This then does not allow Samantha once again to call upon Primus in Dimension 63. It does not allow the souls to be collected in the summon key. It does not introduce us to Monty or the Shadow Man, save for what Ultimus Richtofen had heard from the MPD and the Dark Aether, which we ultimately would not know about anyway until after the events of Black Ops 3, though it does not negate them from happening. So while in a sense we completely sever ties with the events of Black Ops 3, that ideology can also be incorporated to think that we've already played through the events of Black Ops 3 and as Primus, that we are already introduced to Monty, the Shadow Man, the Apothecans, the Keepers, Primus, and all the subsidiary information and knowledge once, twice, perhaps a million times before. No matter how many theoretical times we end up coming back to that point, it always has the potential to end with Buried, it's just a matter of making it happen. So from a narrative standpoint, it does not exist, unless expressed as such in the proverbial Black Ops 4 coming next year, but the end game to truly defeat Monty, the Shadow Man, and to make our characters free from the constraints that have been built for eight years, Buried is the key. From there, we go into uncharted territory and the future is, of course, unwritten. And as such, we have no idea what that would lead to. Perhaps more evil, perhaps a different challenge in which our characters have to face, but it does break the cycle and effectively frees our characters. And that, based on all indication, could be the true ending to Zombies as we know it. So that is, we're gonna wrap it up, and I'd love to get your feedback here on this theory. What do you guys think? That's a lot to process, I know, and it's something that truly is a hefty load to drop, but I really wanna get your feedback and take here on this. Do you believe in this? Do you think it's the true way out, or at least the way out that we know of at the moment? Perhaps there's more coming once again as Zombies is expanded within the next coming games from Treyarch. Perhaps there's a lot more that is written already that we don't have access to, but I'd love to get your take here on this. Drop whatever you have down there in the comment section down below. I want to give a huge shout out to one of my followers over on Twitter. Honestly, I cannot for the life of me find the tweet that was one of the catalysts here for this. I already had something very similar to this planned, but it jogged my memory and really kickstarted this little project to be started back up, this little video I had on it. So I can't for the life of me find that tweet and I truly do apologize for that. But if you tweet me again, I'll definitely add you to the description and edit anything I can as a proper shout out. But all that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun trying to deliberate more on this, give you guys some backstory, some information and anything as such to make it a little bit more clear and and I think that it goes a lot deeper than we may see on the surface here with zombies. And I'm super excited to see where it may go here in the future. But right now, Buried has a lot more significance than it ends up getting credit for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Zombies Chronicles, Zombies in general, Black Ops 3 multiplayer, Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer, and Zombies. Modern Warfare Mastered, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get cacked me outside of YouTube, but practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to share my conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.